Hey, what's going on? It's Rick here, and it's time for another uh, app of the week or spotlight app of the week. And today I'm going to be showing you a game on my iPad, but it's also going to run on your iPhone. And as we kind of go through week by week, we'll figure out the best way to show these, whether I shoot them full on like this or I do a screen mirroring sort of thing and add some voiceover. So let me know in the comments down below, would you prefer to see it actually shot on the iPad? Or would you prefer for me to do some screen mirroring so you don't actually see the device, but it's kind of on your screen if you know what I mean. Anyways, before we get into this this week, what I do want to call out is kind of a look ahead because this is a pretty big release that's coming to the App Store. I'm going to open it up real quickly here for you guys. And what I want to show you uh, is that if we do a search here, and it's not actually available yet, I'm going to type in Pokemon. And this is the best way for me to pull it up. If I go to Pokemon TV and click on the Pokemon Company, the Pokemon trading card game online is about to release. And right now, if I tap on this and I try to install it, it's not going to let me do it. I've been trying for the past hour or so here, and it says it's not available yet. But for those of you guys who like card games, think about Hearthstone or Hearthstone. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of that game by Blizzard. Uh, this is kind of a, a different spin on things. So, of course, the Pokemon trading card game has been out for a long time, and this one is going to release presumably sometime today. So it's free, although the kind of bummer thing here is what I notice in their description that says you've got to have an iPad with Retina. So this isn't going to work on iPhones, and it's only going to work on Retina-based iPads. So that would be the iPad Mini with Retina, the iPad 3rd or 4th generation, including the iPad Air. So I know my kids uh, will be bummed because the iPad that they share doesn't have Retina. So kind of a bummer there, but uh, nonetheless, I wanted to call that out because that is a fairly large release coming to the U.S. App Store here later today. Now, for today's App of the Week, I'm going to head into my games. And yeah, I'm going to do a future what's on my iPhone, what's on my iPad video. And I'm going back. I'm going back a couple of years to a game called Coin Drop. And you see it right up here. By the way, I've got to do a call out as tomorrow's October 1st. If you've never checked out the game Costume Quest, check it out. It's kind of a mini action RPG game. It's done by Double Fine and Tim Schafer's team. It is absolutely outstanding. Trick or treaters. I've talked about it on my channel probably over the past year. They're getting ready to release Costume Quest 2. So, so much fun. So check it out. But today we're talking about Coin Drop. This is a at least a couple year old game. But let me go ahead and open it up here because I'm going to show it to you. And it's a lot of fun. This game is basically, if you think of the old Plachinko machines, if you know what that is, or if you even think of the game Peggle, which a lot of people know about, that's what this game reminds me of, and it's pretty much fun for everyone to enjoy. And the great thing about this game is that you can pick it up and play it as little or as much as you want. So let's go ahead and hit play. I've been playing it for a while, and you're going to see you've got the classroom here. You've got different levels that you can unlock at different points. And uh, my son, who's been playing this, has unlocked pretty much everything. I'm doing it on my particular iPad. And you can see on this one, I've not unlocked too much. Um, I think it's my mini where I unlocked more. But let me just show you a little bit about what this game is about. We'll go ahead and we'll start on level one. As I mentioned, this is kind of the old game where you're going to drop a coin. Think of it like this too. If you've ever watched The Price is Right on television, you know the game that they play Plinko on that show. This is kind of like that too. You get 15 coins. The idea is you're going to drop a coin. It's going to bounce off of these pegs. Hopefully you're going to knock out these bad coins, the blue guys here. And then ideally you want to hit it into the hole that's sparkling. So we're going to drop it mm, uh, right about there. And you can see what it does. I knocked one of the guys out. Hey, I made it right in where I was supposed to. Now, if you don't make it there, no problem. It's just going to give you some added bonuses if you do. And to advance through a level, what you're trying to do is you're trying to at least knock out all of the bad guys. You get bonuses for... Ch Oops, that was bad. You get bonuses for turning all these pens different colors. So they are going to change different colors as you go through. You can see I got an alien there. Yeah, let me see if I can get this guy over here and I'll show you what happens there. As you progress through the game, you are going to be able to do other things. 
Again, this is level one here. So I've got a coin frenzy. See what happened there as I unlocked everything. All of these got filled and it did a coin frenzy and it knocked all of the bad guys out. So now at this point, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get all of these pens and I'm gonna try to turn them all green because at that point, it'll give me a multiplier, a score multiplier. So as you go through here to advance in levels, it's gonna get harder and harder because what will happen is you'll get more obstacles, you'll get more bad guys, you're limited on how many coins you have to drop, and at some point what happens is not only do you have to get the bad guys or the bad coins, but you also have to reach a certain point goal. It can get very, very challenging. So uh, let me go ahead and try to get that last one. And you don't have to drop them one at a time. You can drop them all at once like you just saw me do. See, I got that green. And now as I hit those pens, they start turning purple. So it gave me a multiplier there. And I just uh, basically passed through this level. So it gives you a star ranking. Got myself a new high score. And then you're gonna move on to the next level here. So let me go ahead and before I pop out, you'll see on level two here, we've got a score target. You've got to hit at least the minimum score on this one of 1625, but you also have to get all of those bad guys that I talked about, these blue guys here. So let me go ahead and hit pause and let's go ahead and exit out of here. And I'm gonna show you the current level that I'm on just so you can see how this kind of changes things up. Yeah. This isn't actually the current level that I'm on, uh, but I'll show it to you nonetheless. So you can see that I've got these spikes here. There's some guys spinning up and down that are gonna block my way, that are gonna spin my coin a little bit. And it starts getting a little bit more difficult. So you're gonna see different things pop up in here. Let me go ahead and exit out and I will this time go to the space race, which is the level that I'm currently on. You know, this is a real casual game. There's nothing too uh, involved about it. And this one, you can see the pens are moving. We've got some rockets here. It bounces me back up. You can certainly do some tilting on it. So you can actually tap to shake it and it'll sometimes move the positioning of your coin around. Uh, and you can see how that worked. It really gets challenging in the future though, because what happens is you have to start hitting those minimum goals. So it is very much possible that you can get all of the bad guys like I just did, but you won't pass a level because you didn't get the minimum score requirement. So this is coin drop. It's a definite favorite of mine. It's been around for quite some time now. You can find it on the app store and it will run on both your iPhone as well as your iPad. And it definitely gets my recommendation just for pure fun. It's a good time. It's fun for everyone. And as I mentioned, uh, it's been around for a while, but it's definitely held up over time for me and keeps my attention uh, when I want to pick something up, either for a, a, a short attention span sort of thing or maybe even a long play. It is Coin Drop. Have you guys played it? Let me know down below. And if not, definitely check it out because it's a lot of fun. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, as always, please feel free to let me know. You can hit me up on Twitter at Metagamers, and I will catch you guys next time. Take care, everybody, and have fun.